during the fetal development of male placental mammals, so the majority of them at least, the testes not only descend from their original position in the abdomen through the pelvic brim, as do ovaries in females, but they continue and actually depart the pelvic body cavity, leaving through an inguinal canal to reside in the scrotum, a position where they will be several degrees cooler than the core body temperature, which will then allow fertility in sperm. The vas deferens, the reproductive tube which connects the epididymis to the urethra, therefore must pass from the testes in the scrotum to the inguinal canal and then enter the pelvic body cavity. The vas deferens forms part of the spermatic cord which contains the testicular arteries, veins, nerves, and lymphatic vessels in addition to this reproductive tube. Note in this specimen of a rhesus monkey that the vas deferens will pass from the spermatic cord through the inguinal canal into the pelvic body cavity and pass over a ureter and behind the bladder. From this point, it will fuse with the seminal vesicle, an accessory sex gland, to form the ejaculatory duct and then unite with the urethra so that the urethra can expel the ejaculate from the male body.